Okay, welcome back. This week we're going to be inflating balloons with yeast. But first I have my magician here to help me get suited up. That's better. Okay, so today we're going to be using yeast to look at fermentation, respiration, and more excitedly, excitingly, we're going to be filling up some balloons. So what you're going to need is some balloons, sugar, yeast, some warm water, and plastic water bottles. The first thing I want you to do, let's open up all the bottles. The first thing I want you to do is to put two and a half teaspoons of yeast into each bottle. It's helpful if you have a funnel, seems to be the common theme of our videos, but if you don't have it, that's fine too. So let's go ahead and put two and a half into each. One, two, and a half, and keep going. With it. Okay, so once you've done that, we're gonna now add the sugar. In the first bottle, we're not gonna add any sugar. And then in the next one, we're going to add one teaspoon. And then in the next one, we're going to add three teaspoons. Now before we go on to the next step, let's talk about what yeast is. Yeast is a fungus and it is alive. It is dormant in this bottle, and when we add some warm water, it activates the yeast. It brings it, brings it to life, like a dormant volcano is still brewing, but it needs to be activated. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add one cup of warm water into each of these. Make sure your water is warm. It doesn't have to be boiling. Okay, once you've added one cup of warm water to each, we're going to put a balloon on the top of each bottle. Okay, once you've done that, and you've made sure that the balloon is on snugly, we're going to have to wait about an hour. Sometimes for science you need to wait. But in the meantime, let's discuss what's going to happen here. So our yeast is going to consume the sugar and a process called fermentation is gonna happen, which is where this a small organism consumes something and gives off gas as a byproduct. Let's take a closer look. So let's take a closer look. Here's our yeast cell in the bottle, and this yeast is surrounded by a bunch of sugar. So as the yeast eats the sugar, just like a human would eat food, it gives off waste products, just like a human. Yeast is fungal and not a plant so it does not photosynthesize. As the yeast eats, it gives off carbon dioxide when it respires. Respiration is breathing. Just like humans, the yeast gives off carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide creates bubbles in the water, but it also continues to rise as it gets towards the top. And once it rises, it'll start to fill our balloon. And as it continues to fill the balloon, the balloon will expand. So we expect that the more sugar the yeast has, the more it can consume and give off carbon dioxide, and thus the bigger the balloon will have. And if the yeast doesn't have any sugar, it shouldn't be able to respire at all. So in our bottle without any sugar, we would expect the balloon not to uh, expand at all. So now that you have a better idea of what's going to happen, we're gonna wait and allow our yeast to have some time to consume the sugar and give off the carbon dioxide and fill our balloons. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's see if it works out. One hour later. All right, so we waited about an hour and somewhat happy with the results. You can see that 
our one teaspoon of sugar balloon inflated a bit, but something happened here with our three teaspoon one. I think maybe I didn't shake it and I should have shaken it to mix it. So about halfway through, I tried another one and I promise you all I did was the same thing as this, but I shook it and I got an awesome balloon. So you can see no sugar in this one, one teaspoon in this one, three teaspoons in this one, and that is our order of how inflated the balloon is. So the more sugar we gave the yeast to eat, the more it respired, the more carbon dioxide it emitted to fill our balloons. Pretty cool. And less mess than some of our recent experiments. I enjoyed it. You could play around with it. Try putting five teaspoons and more yeast. See if you could get the balloon to pop. Use a water balloon. It'll pop earlier. Have some fun with it. And we will see you next week for another experiment.